Hello everyone, this is Kimi Kim and welcome to my channel. Today I have a flip through of a journal, a custom journal that I made. Um, I have a couple more in the works, um, but this is just one of the uh, 4th of July journals um, that was requested from Tichelle. And I just want to do a quick uh, flip through because the other ones, I think I have two more coming um, today that will be finished. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a video on those. Um, I'll be leaving for Texas to see my mom and take care of her um, in a week. Well, less than a, well, a week. I guess it's a week. So I'm not sure if I'll have time to record or not. Um, just a lot going on. But I will try, um, and let's get started. So I did some stenciling, and this particular um, style I was I was taught from uh, Nick the Booksmith, one of her classes. Uh, you can take one of her classes. I will try to remember to link uh, where you can uh, take the class to learn how to make this, um, this style of book. Um, and uh, there's the spine. The back is uh, brushed. I kind of antiqued it a little bit. And I'm not sure how this shows up on the camera, uh, but it's a blue. It's like a deep, deep blue. And I've got like a red closure here. And we'll just get started. I'm really excited. It was a lot of fun. You know, I'm usually making uh, the botanical journals and whatnot, but I really enjoy getting the uh, custom orders uh, just because, you know, it's a it's a change. It's a variety in different styles. And so this one, um, I have several orders. I think she ordered five Fourth of July journals. So I'll have uh, I have two that will be similar to this style. And then I have three others that are a different a different style to share, or two others. Yeah, did I say two others? I, I can't remember. It's kind of early. So we'll just get started. And uh, there's six signatures. And I believe, gosh, I didn't add how many pages, but there's like six sheets uh, in each signature. And so that's, you know, front, back, times four. So um, that's quite a bit of writing room. And we'll get started. There's lots of pockets and goodies. I still have lots more that I'm going to add in here. Um, in the pockets, I kind of want to stuff them. Um, she had requested she really likes the pockets. And I did some trim on some of the pages. And here's some vellum here. It kind of just shows through to this pocket here. And it says America the Beautiful. A couple tags. And there is writing space on the back. And most everything is sewn in. Um, it's all sewn. Uh, and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to share. And this here is, I think it's a type of parch parchment paper. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. And then this here, you know, is like from the spiral. It was an art book that I took... Uh, Took the pages out and tea stained it and I have a little tab there and these of course are the other side freedom isn't free is what that one says and I did use some digital kits I will try to link them down below if I remember um, and share that with you and the uh, in the next video that I share with these 4th of July journals, I'll share the paper pack that I used for this as well. I got them at scrapbook.com. And here's another pocket here that I'll stuff with some tags. Some more uh, trim here. Now I did leave some strings. Now she requested not a lot of strings, so I don't have, I don't have tons of them, but um, just a, a few because I really like that look. And, you know, whoever receives it can cut them off, trim them, or whatever. And then I have this trim here. I made this tag here, just some layering and some sewing on the side here. 
some more vellum here and this style here oh gosh i can't remember if it was mandy or corey that i learned uh this particular style um gosh i'm i'm gonna have to look but again, from the paper pack, that's these stickers here. And this is from the paper pack. And I just put a little trim here. And I got a little Velcro here. And it flips down. And I've got a little pocket, a little tag that I put some paper on the back. And it does actually have a little pocket here. So I was thinking I would either put a little tag or maybe like a vellum uh, pocket. Um, envelope here I'm not too sure if I'm going to do anything with that or not and I just sewed in some uh, kind of ragged little paper pad and it has a has a band here so you can take it out and replace it as you use it so I thought that was really fun to make and I made them in all different sizes for the different journals I really enjoyed making those And yeah, I think I said already it's all tea stained. There's a little page there. Some trim and it says patriotism. Patriotism, I can't speak today. <laughs> and here's the next signature. Oh, yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> I'm speaking a little too soon. And uh, this is just some... Uh, Paper. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's little dots. Paper, some stenciling with the stars. It's red, white, and blue, it says here. And this is just, I believe it's just an envelope. I put some Velcro here. I think, yeah, I've got an envelope here. And I'm going to stuff it with some goodies. There's some little stickers and whatnot. Some more of that dot paper the other side of that and then there's the red trim so yeah a lot of room for um, you know whoever receives it to journal in it um, add you know pictures or whatnot whatever they want to put in there and here's another tag from a, a digital kit I made and here's the next signature and here's another image the spirit of 76 a little trim along the bottom and again these are all sewn in these pockets I put a little tab there a little long tab add some color to the page and it says God bless the USA along the bottom All American boy another couple little tags there's a tab here and I kind of staggered the ta the tabs I said did I say tag or tab I don't I can't remember <laughs> um, just kind of staggered them a little bit as it goes throughout the, the book the journal and I made that there do a little sewing I was really happy how it turned out it was a lot of fun a couple little tags here and journaling space more stenciling throughout with the stars a little pocket and trim I didn't stuff every single pocket because with this style of journal, you know, it is, you know, a hard, really hard book board that's quite thick and uh, there's no flexibility to it. So to stuff it, overstuff it and have it really, really wide um, just really takes away from the book. And so there's that. That's from the paper pack. These are all from the paper pack. I just love the different colors and patterns that were in it. Some cards there. 
trim here. Some stenciling. Home of the free on there. That's another digital kit. And then this one here was a lot of fun. And again, I can't remember if it was Corey or Mandy that I was inspired and I kind of learned this style from. Uh, gosh, I'm going to have to go back and look. So this is just a little journaling card. And I put a little image here. What does that say? Day, what's the day? The day we celebrate, it says right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't have my glasses on, so it was hard to hard to read. And there's another little writing tablet here. And it was like kind of like almost like a some type of belly band, and then I separated it. And I think, did I glue this down? I did glue this down. So the paper clip is holding it down, and it flips up, and it's a writing, a little tuck writing spot. I thought that was the cutest idea ever. So yeah, those ladies are pretty talented, creative ladies that I learned that little trick from. Here, this is, uh, I think like a type of tracing paper here. And some more tags and writing journal spots. This one, I think, was this a new? Oh, I'm all confused. Oh, okay, confused myself. And this here, I just put in uh, Uncle Sam and a little ribbon here. Again, some stenciling. And I used a book page for the backing on this. And uh, this actually, this image here is from a digital kit. And I put it over some book page to give it some stability. And I have Stand Together Memories. And just did these from some dies, die cuts that I had. Let Freedom Ring. And I stitched around it. Those were fun to make. Here's another page, and this is again from that that paper pad. Actually, it's a paper pack. It's not really a pad, but um, and then some trim, trim along the bottom here. A little card to write on. Some stenciling. I don't know how the stenciling showing up, but most some pages it's really light and faint, and then other pages I did it a little bit darker. Some pretty trim there and the trim I found most of the trim at Hobby Lobby and Joann's um, like the rose here I think that was Joann's and um, the other trims that you see throughout I got at Hobby Lobby this one says Independence Day another pocket here a little layering tag I just sewed it here and along the top. Here's another tab. Proud to be an American. Now my friend that ordered these um, is retired from the Navy and uh, her husband's also um, military and so they really really wanted to sorry i shook the camera really really wanted to uh do this theme and uh you know my father just i most of you know my father just passed away and he was a vietnam veteran and so i was thinking i was kind of inspired by this uh idea that tichelle had uh, with this theme to make something similar and have all of his vietnam pictures in it um just like an American theme like this. So I'm going to work on that when I get back from my mom's and uh, get to making a memory book journal for my, uh, my dad's things. 
Make some more tags. Actually, they're more journaling spaces than tags. Again, some from the paper packs. See, I love all the different patterns, but they're same colors. And there's some trim here. And here's a little tag and another little writing spot. And this one says Star Spangled Banner. And here's a vellum page that shows through to this here. And I've glued it all down instead of keeping it open for a tuck spot, uh, just because it gave stability to the to the page. And then this is just a writing writing card there. And we have a tag here that I just uh, attached to this ribbon. And another tag that I made from a book page as a base. And made these tags here. Some trim here, this white trim, like a lace. And this, uh, oh, I need something in this pocket. Made in America, or made in USA, actually. And it has a couple pockets. Here's this one, the American flag. And here's another layering tag. Stars and stripes. And this is a pocket here as well. I think my thinking on that was I didn't want to cover the American flag tag. Some stenciling more stenciling and the other side of the vellum shows this pretty pattern under here and here's tag in 1776 a couple little goodies here there and that is one of the first ones I finished and like I said I have another one similar to this style and then a couple other goodies uh, to show you so thanks for watching y'all I hope you enjoyed it and again if you are interested in um, having me make a custom uh, custom jewelry I do make jewelry too but I haven't done that in a while but a custom journal um, you know just uh, I have my contact information down below and just, you know, shoot me a message. Thanks so much again for watching. Y'all have a great weekend. And uh, take care and be kind to one another.